As I said just now, there were three speakers. Two are the usual suspects who swim in the cesspool that is social media, spewing their venom against our private police department. And again, we have one of them sitting here tonight. The third was a surprise. And she is sitting right there. Victoria Lazzi, smile on her face. This name will not soon be forgotten by PV Estates. Now let me be very, very clear. No one cares if you vote yes or no. We really don't. Nobody. You want to vote no, vote no. Nobody cares. And nobody's been begging you to vote no, vote yes. Nobody. We live in a democratic society, and you can vote any way you want to. Who cares? But here's the rub. Not only did Victoria use her city position outside of these chambers, but outside of these chambers. Let me give you a wonderful word that sums up how and what I watched Victoria say on the unedited tape of the meeting. The word for people who are not familiar this, with this word, it is hubris, H-U-B-R-I-S. And I'll read you a definition of it. Its definition is an unhealthy and self-damaging excessive pride or false confidence. Here we had a sitting treasurer, an elected city person, outside of her elected place, outside of these chambers, who stated, while I think the city ultimately needs a tax, I don't like the way this, and she meant measure E, was organized. Now, again, this, this is one person who is, has been sitting here for a year and now she comes out and says what she just said. By the way, this uh, statement was not found in the edited tape. She also states very eloquently, I guess I kind of feel like we need to go back and do the work right and get it right and come back with a true story, even if it's not rosy. In addition, she stated, I feel that kind of the financial work was not done over the last year. This is like Icarus flying towards the sun. My question to you, Victoria, is where were you sitting over the past year? What were you doing over the past year when all of these problems evolved and you didn't say a word? You didn't say a single word about any of these things. It seems to me you are sitting right where you are today with a functioning microphone right in front of you. What have you done or said or complained about over the past year that would help our city financial situation? Now remember, you're our treasurer. You are our treasurer. You are elected to administer and manage our financial health. I will say this as gently as I can. Sadly, you won't be allowed to blame anyone else for your performance. This past year was on your watch. You have taken absolutely no responsibility for that. Let me go back to the edited and deleted statement where Victoria said, I think the city ultimately needs a tax. I wonder why this was deleted. The tax is Measure E. It will balance our budget and insert an IV into our weakened city. It will also save our private police and our miraculous way of life here in the
A really interesting statement followed. My quote, my obligation as city treasurer is to make sure our residents have all the information they need to make a thoughtful and well-informed decision. Well, Victoria, again, I ask you, why didn't you? Why didn't you do that? You were sitting here for a year. You never did it. Now, technically, the treasurer's job description is to provide information to our residents, but it is not forbidden to speak here in chambers. You can say anything you want here, anything. Nobody ever stopped you. I quickly realized that she and another speaker at the Malako meeting, who's sitting here tonight, were actually auditioning to run for city council. I think it would be wonderful if they ran. Campaigns are not speaking to the citizens who only agree to you with you. It requires speaking to everyone, even your opponents. Both you and the other auditioner will always, I repeat always, and I will make sure that you will always be branded as the two who wanted our private police discarded like trash. It won't go away. Almost all of our residents love our police. That is a fact proven by multiple surveys and focus groups. You can die ad, deny it ad nauseum, but the fact remains that if you want to keep our private police, you have to vote yes on Measure E, period. The next quote is a doozy. Quote, when you talk about outsourcing, who outsources something without getting a cost and a scope of work. Wow. That is exactly what the no voters can expect if this measure fails. As I said previously, we don't have a clue what the LA County Sheriff will charge our city for their services. Without a police department, and will be forced to negotiate with a sheriff with absolutely no, with us having absolutely no power or leverage. <clears throat> Victoria Lazi also stated, the Financial Advisory Committee, quote, are a good group of people. They analyzed everything, end quote. Now, I think there's a very good reason why Victoria Lazi is so enamored with the Financial Advisory Committee, because they will and I guarantee you, they will do the, week, the work that she either cannot or will not do. The next point is quite important. It's clearly written in the bylaws of our city that the mayor, and the mayor only, is designated as the only spokesman to the public outside of these chambers and the media on city issues. That is an integral part of having a functional city government. If everyone on this council spoke to every newspaper and every group, it would be chaos. The mayor confers with other council members and speaks publicly. Other words, otherwise, it will lead to chaos. Victoria was restrained in no way from saying her quotes publicly at a council meeting. It is much, much easier to blame someone else, get cheered by an obsequious group of people who agree with everything you say, and to have your moment of infamy. The bottom line is, sometimes you have to be more than just yourself especially when you are serving a group of citizens who voted for you and who trust you.